In this video, we're going to talk about liquidity delivery. It is Saturday, August the 12th, 2023. The market is closed. So we're here on the NASDAQ five minute chart and we're going to talk about price going to and through and how you trade uh, liquidity delivery. So whenever you are marking up your chart, you always want to have uh, liquidity on your chart. So you notice that I, in our current chart, we're on a five minute chart. <clears throat> I've got buy side liquidity, buy side liquidity, and sell side liquidity. And then, of course, there is, uh, there's even more liquidity that I haven't highlighted. So, for example, these lows here and these lows here on the five-minute chart, and these two relatively equal lows here as well. Um, but what I use, guys, is I use a, a line tool, and you can see I have buy side liquidity, buy side liquidity purge, sell side liquidity, sell side liquidity purge. Uh, and then I also have a horizontal rate tool that I have buy side liquidity and sell side liquidity. The market is always drawing to, to old highs and old lows because that is where stop orders reside above and stop orders reside below. The NASDAQ will typically deliver its liquidity. Now what do I mean by deliver its liquidity? Let's say that you're sitting somewhere down in the market down here and you, you could see, for example, okay, <clears throat> There was buy side liquidity here. And there was buy side liquidity here. The market traded to this high and then it also, so that high was at 15,248 spot 50, but we also traded 20 points, about 20 points higher than that, right? So we traded to it and we traded through it and we drew up to the next high but didn't quite get there. That is liquidity delivery. It is price delivery. In the same token, when price came back to the downside, notice that sell side liquidity, we came to it, and then we traded about 20 points lower as well. <clears throat> so how you trade liquidity delivery is basically when you see that the market is about to reach an old high or an old low. It could be a short-term high or low. It could be a longer-term high or low. You want to basically have your finger on the trigger on the market button. Um, you don't necessarily, all right, just want to put your limit orders right on the high. Instead, I mean, if, you, if you're going to sleep, if you have no choice but to do that, that's one way to do it. But ideally, what you want to do, you, you really don't know how far lower the market is going to trade below an old low or how far higher it's going to trade above an old high. But oftentimes, as you can see here, it'll be a pop. It'll be a very quick movement above an old high or an old low. And if you just take off all of your contracts right at the high, you might be missing out on 10, 20, 30 points that over time you really should be taking those points. So what you want to do <clears throat> when you are trading price delivery is you want to just have your finger on the exit button or finger on the parcels button and then watch as price comes through that high and see when it when it decides how far much how how much further higher it wants to go. Now sometimes guys it's gonna literally just not go very far at all, right? Like you can see there. But when price delivers a new high or a new low in that moment, like right here, notice, all right, we went up another went up another seven and a quarter points. So if you just took off your, your contracts literally at that high you're missing out on points. And over time, guys, you need these points. You need, to, you need to get some of these points. So you expect that the market is going to take out an old low or an old high, and then it's going to trade further through it. Here, so for example, 13 points. All right. So you might want to take off like one of your contracts right at the low, but then basically you just want to have your finger on the market on the mark market button because you don't know how much further below the low it's going to go. You don't know how much further above these highs it wants to go. But you want to make sure that you're trying to maximize your returns. And how you maximize your returns is you watch as the market trades above an old high or it trades below an old low, which is your target, and then you have your finger on the market button, basically. I hope that that makes sense. <clears throat> so guys, contrast this with a failure to deliver. So, for example, on Friday we had a few failure to, failures to deliver. When the market during the lunch session traded back down, notice that it did not take out the lows. The second time it came back down, it did not take out the lows. 
Um, that's called a failure to deliver. And I'll just tell you guys, usually the NASDAQ does deliver. So we saw a, a delivery early, early on in price. And again, what you wanted to do is if you saw a price trade below that low, it went another 15 points in five minutes. So you don't want to just throw off all your contracts on a limit order right at that low, especially if you're watching price. If you're actually watching price and you're sitting there and you're trading actively, don't take off all your contracts right at the low. Wait for price to trade through it, at, uh, trade through it, because it could, you know, it could go much lower. Basically, it could trade through that low, and then it could have drawn to the next sell side liquidity at fifteen thousand oh twenty two spot two five. Um, so, price delivery is to be contrasted with a failure to deliver, which is basically it fails to make a new fails to make a new low or fails to make a new low. Then we ended up making a new short-term high. And again, let's say that you were drawing up to this buy side liquidity and you recognize that. Don't take off all your contracts right at that high. Let price trade through it and you can see that the, it moved up another 18 points. So again, guys, how you want to trade this is let's say that you get long somewhere in here or somewhere in here and you're aiming for that high right there. Take one contract off as it comes up the new high or don't take any contracts off. As price trades through the high, start taking off manually using market sell orders up up in here and that way you will maximize your return so again guys when price delivers a new high or delivers a new low as in it's it's delivered into old liquidity which it's doing that all the time that's what the market does you do not want to take off all your contracts right at that low or right at that high unless you're going to sleep unless you're not going to be you're physically not going to be at the charts you're not going to be watching the chart Assuming that you are watching the chart, what you want to do is you want to have your cursor over the sell button or over the buy button or over the close button and wait to see how price trades in that new low. Because like for example, let's say that you saw these equal lows here, you got short somewhere in here, uh, right on that economic release, which I wouldn't recommend doing that, but you would not want to just take off all your contracts right at that low, now would you? No, you would not. Or let's say that you saw that the market was probably going to trade down below that low. You certainly would not want to take off all your contracts right here. No, 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 no. You want to wait for price to come in. And I mean, my goodness, guys, like, look, it came down another 40 points. So you were missing out on 40 points, easy points, by the way, uh, of like very clean movement if you just took out your contracts right there at that low. So as I've been, I've been harping on in this video, guys, in liquidity delivery, you want to wait with your, with your finger on the trigger, so to speak, because you don't really know how much further beyond a high, how zealous it wants to go. You have a very good idea when you've identified an old high or an old low. You're like, okay, there's liquidity there, price to draw there. How much further beyond that it wants to go, it could be 10 points, 20 points, no points. You don't really know exactly. But you want to make sure that you're maximizing your returns by not just exiting your position immediately at liquidity. You want to wait to see, all right, how much further does it want to go? So in this video guide, guys, we covered price delivery, we, we covered liquidity delivery, which is to be the, the opposite of a failure to deliver, right? It delivers a new higher, delivers a new low, which the NASDAQ usually does. Um, I'll also make a video on a failure to deliver probably, but just contrast uh, liquidity delivery with uh, a failure to deliver. Okay, guys. Bye-bye.